What's going on, y'all? Loudy on the mic, aka the Loud Avatar, and welcome back to another video. I'm not about to waste no time. This is a loud rant, and I'm here to talk about Sony PS Plus service and why I think it's so shitty and unfair to its customers. Let's get into it. For those who don't know what PS Plus is, it's an online service Sony created for its PlayStation users where you have deals on products in the PlayStation Store. It gives away free games, which I will get into in a moment. And since the PS4 is started to charge its users to pay to play online. So after about, um, let's say two years of some change using the PS Plus service, I had to say the PS Plus service is very mediocre slash underwhelming. And here's why, okay. You see, during my two years with the PS Plus, I experienced a lot of issues. And a lot of these issues everybody can relate to. One of the big ones are the servers constantly going down. This is the main thing I would say people complain about or have issues with. And it's, a still, and it's still a big issue and a lot of people who even have multiple consoles and spend more time on them and come back to their PS4s say the experience is always never great. Sony has yet to do anything about this and is getting really old. Another thing I want to touch on is their free games we get every month. Now, every month, Sony announces free games for its PS Plus members who own a PS4, PS3, or PS Vita. And the games can stay in your possession forever as long as you continue to pay that clean $50. <coughs> 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 oh, shit, excuse me. $60 a year. You'll have many games that are very lackluster or just might be a good steal. They'll have major bangers ranging from Saints Row, Got Out of Hell, to more boring ass games like The Day of the Tentacle. Now, I may sound a bit ungrateful, but at the same time, look at it this way. You can't raise the price of PS Plus and the customers are still not getting quality service every other week. The PS servers are going down. We pray to God we get good games every month instead of the shit they give us now. And Sony, nah, you not slick. Back in 24, you gave PS Plus members bangers among bangers, like Bioshock Infinite, DMC, Tomb Raider, Batman, Arkham City, and many others that are always fun to come back to. Meanwhile, Microsoft is giving everyone AAA game that everybody wants or had decent reviews, allowing backwards compatibility at the same time with no charge. Sony has become very greedy over the years and obsessed with sales. Instead of being obsessed with their users having quality online service. If you were to ask me what will we do to fix this, I would say um, demand better. As the consumer, we have to realize that the power is in our hands. We matter, okay? You gotta, we, we, you gotta think about it. Where would Sony be without us? Better yet, let me put it this way. Where would your favorite YouTubers be if they didn't have hella subscribers? Nowhere. Right at the bottom. Let's start thinking with our wallets and demanding better so we can finally have some greatness that awaits. See what I did there? Yeah. All right, y'all. Thank you for watching that video of mine. If you enjoyed and also agree what I have to say, then thumbs up and uh, leave it in the comment section. Or if you disagree, then leave, and, uh, you know, leave me a comment on why you disagree. Or you know, if you have better suggestions, you know, leave it down in the comment section. And also share it with your friends. I also have social media, Instagram, vid.me, Twitter, uh, my other two channels where I'm going to be uploading skits and, and skits and vlogs or behind the scenes, most likely and stuff. Check it out. You'll enjoy my stuff or check check it out. You know what I'm saying? You know, just just check it out. You, you, you'll enjoy trust. And um, yeah, see you on the next video. Bye.